Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 17677 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and on skip ahead. And it's just a couple of build numbers up from the previous build and there's not a huge amount of changes but there is a brand new menu in Microsoft's Edge. So they've really redefined this menu and it looks a lot better. So you've got the option there to add a new tab, new window, new private window. You see you've got your favourites all downloads all the uh, the developer tools everything that is all more logically laid out which I think is a nice improvement and uh, another thing that have been added in the jump list is your favorite site so you can see the digitalized.com and my Facebook page and so on so they've improved those jump lists as well They've improved the way that the tabs are stored as well when you set them aside rather than just going all the way vertically across now. You get them in groups down here. So if you added a group yesterday and a group today and so on. So that's uh, easy to find them. On the downloads, if you right click now, you've got the option to copy the link or show in the folder, something you couldn't do before. So those are the main, actually the main headline changes with Microsoft Edge. There's some improvements for narrator in scan mode. Um, there's some kernel debugging improvement for developers. Um, task manager reported memory has been improved. Let's have a look at that. I think what they mean by that is that um, the main memory column in the task manager process tab will not include memory of suspended UWP processes. There's changes to the broadband connectivity but in settings um, I can't show you that because I don't have broadband enabled on here and then the other changes are things like um, issues in narrator has been fixed with the alt tab and don't forget alt tab now it goes between tabs I haven't got any tabs open let's restore one of these um, they fixed issues with command prompt they fixed issue with Microsoft Edge and the home buttons not working fix some F1 issues. There are a few known issues. Uh, there's still some issues with dark theme and command prompt. Uh, remote desktop with multi-monitors is still an issue. And after you're updating the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, we'll install the Mixed Reality software. And so your environment's not preserved. So if you customize your home and then uh, you go into Windows Mixed Reality after an update, you will have to reset that up again. Um, Interestingly, you can now create your own custom homes, and I've got a guide to do that on uh, the digitallifestyle.com. So that's the changes, really. There's not a huge amount with this build. Actually, there's got a bug bash coming up in um, in June, at the end of June, beginning of July, and perhaps they're uh, we're getting towards the middle of this development because they get uh, bug bashes out in July, maybe finish with the insider builds end of August, and then release September October. Um, but anyway, we'll see. You can find, follow us on uh, Twitter at ISDixon, our YouTube channel, and the digitallifestyle.com.